not know I was going to follow that, so I would have worn my little matching bag. Thank you so much. <laughs> so I'm going to switch gears a little bit. We had a lot of fun, but I just have a question for you guys. Does anyone in here know someone who suffered from a miscarriage? Does anyone know someone who suffered from multiple miscarriages? Maybe you know that person intimately. I am so incredibly grateful to be the mom of a very happy and healthy nine-year-old girl. But in the years after she was born, I suffered from two very traumatic miscarriages. And what I want to share with you today is how I used my daily gratitude practice and habits in order to get through what was some of the most difficult things that I've ever been through and to birth a brand and a business that inspires women around the globe to wake up with gratitude every single day. Back in 2011, I heard Sean Aker speak for the first time. His book, The Happiness Advantage, helps you to change your habits within 21 days. And one of the things that he suggested was to start a gratitude journal. Now, I had started a gratitude journal many times, but I'd never been able to keep it up. Can anyone relate to that? <laughs> so what he shared, and it really resonated with me, was that you would take three things specifically from that day that you were grateful for and write them in your journal. And the next day, you write down three specific different things that you were grateful for. So every day you were grateful for a different thing. I added my own little twist, which is a gratitude intention. And what that is, is you write in the present tense something you're trying to attract in the physical world. Well, 12 weeks after I started this practice, I actually achieved a business goal that had been evading me for several years. So I knew this gratitude thing was really working and I started to share with others and coach my team members on how to use gratitude. Fast forward about 18 months. I was pregnant for the second time. I was so excited to grow our family. We knew we always wanted to have more than two children. But as a woman who suffers from endometriosis, I knew there was some risk. We passed 12 weeks, so we thought we were safe. But unfortunately, at 15 weeks gestation, I actually went into labor and had my baby at home alone. I had to call 911. The police broke down the door and EMS took me to the hospital. Because I had an incomplete miscarriage, I had to have a DNC right away. Taken up to the operating room, and then I found myself in recovery all alone, wondering what had happened to my baby. Because I didn't get to see it or hold it or touch it. And the nurse was very kind and they said they always have respect for a fetus, but at the end of the day, it's medical waste. So we left the hospital, picked up my daughter from daycare and I got home that night and somehow I wrote in my gratitude journal I wrote that I'd been grateful that my daughter was at daycare. I wrote that I was grateful that the police were able to break down my door. And I was grateful for the treatment I'd received at the hospital. And I knew that if I could find gratitude on what was then the most difficult night of my life, that I had to share this with others. And that's when I wrote my book, 30 Days of Gratitude, The Gratitude Program That Will Change Your Life. I wrote the book over the next month we edited it for a month, and four months after I had been through this experience, my book launched. Six and a half years later, the story still resonates with people today because gratitude never goes out of style. So I used my gratitude practice to heal. Things were going super well. We were happy with being a one-child family, and then we had an oops. I'm sure some of you might be able to relate to this. And I was definitely nervous this time because I knew, again, there was definitely a risk of miscarriage. And as I got to 12 weeks, a um, couple days before, I started to have a miscarriage. This time I knew what was happening, so I went right to the hospital, and I actually opted to have a DNC. Now that decision 
almost cost me my life. Because what happened is, after this DNC, I contracted a life-threatening bacterial infection called invasive group A strep. This bacteria causes either sepsis, which is blood poisoning, or flesh-eating disease. I got the one that causes sepsis. There's about a 40% chance that I wasn't going to make it. I was so sick that I was begging to be put into a medically induced coma. And that's exactly what they did. In order for me to heal and to be treated, I had to be put under sedation. And I was sedated for just over a week. As you can see, I healed. There are no outward signs of what happened. But when I woke up after that, I was so weak from the sedation that I could barely hold a glass of water, let alone hold a pen. If you're wondering why I wanted to hold a pen, it's because the two weeks when I was sick was the longest I had been without writing in my gratitude journal since 2011. And in that moment, I truly understood what it means to wake up with gratitude. You woke up today. That was a gift. Thousands of people around the world did not get the same gift as you did today. So what I want you to take from what I've shared today is to remember that you always have a choice. You can always choose gratitude. We are all gonna go through difficult times. We are all gonna have some major challenges. You've heard some incredible stories of women who have overcome really difficult things today. But you have a choice in that moment, even when things are as dark as they can be, to find some nugget of gratitude and make a difference. So here's what I say every morning when I wake up. Thank you for this gift of another day and the opportunity to be of service to others and make a difference in this world. That's it. Simple. But this very simple positive practice will have a, an impact on your relationships. It'll have a real, an impact on your parenting. It'll have an impact on your business. And most importantly, it will have a positive impact on every single aspect of your life. So I ask you, will you join me today and choose to wake up with gratitude starting tomorrow morning. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Tell us the shoes. Oh, the, the shoes. shoes. Okay, has anybody ever heard of Mel Robbins? Yes. Because yeah. totally yeah. inspired. I saw her speak like four or five years ago and she had sparkly sneakers. And I was like, oh my God, I want to wear sneakers with a dress. And so uh, these are my second pair of custom made bejeweled Converse that I love to wear with all my dresses. And now I get asked when I'm going to speak, are you going to wear your sparkly shoes? So I do always wear my sparkly shoes. <laughs> I know when she asked me when I was getting yeah. away, she's like, I'm after the break room. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, in the same. <laughs>